very interesting if you read about other Christian denominations over the last couple of decades, one by one, so many of them have split in two. You can read, you know, and it was beginning a few decades ago, this, split, this denomination split in two. They were divided, and then this one split in two. And the reason for the split, the number one reason for so many Christian denominations splitting in two is the question of these new sexual ideologies that are being, they're being pushed on us now, aren't they? Kind of being imposed on us. You either accept these or you're canceled. You know, could even get thrown into jail these days if we don't accept the new sexual ideologies. Now I'll tell you something, let it be clear, I'm not bowing down to any man-made ideology no way, not me. Don't expect me to offer my little grain of incense to these new ideologies. It's not going to happen. Now, we see in the gospel today, they wanted to kill Jesus. They already killed John the Baptist. He spoke out. He spoke out against Herod's marriage, said it wasn't lawful. They cut his head off. And now they want to kill Jesus. Now remember, Jesus says, follow me. So if we're following Jesus, we might end up getting killed. Praise the Lord. Can you accept that? The early Christians accepted that. Many were martyrs. You know, it's really sad that so many of our church leaders today are politically correct. And this political correctness, it's getting us into trouble. It's getting us down a slippery slope. And once things get bad, there is, it's, it's, it's like there's no point of return. We're hearing more and more about Catholic school boards who are getting into these new sexual ideologies. And what's happening is everyone's buying into this. And the people who are pushing these sexual ideologies, they're very aggressive. Oh, are they ever? They're into it. If we, if we put in like half the energy into evangelization that they put into pushing their ideologies, we'd have the whole world converted. We're too lukewarm. We're not wholehearted like some of these people pushing the ideologies. But what happened is church leaders were afraid to step up and say, hey, in my parish or in my diocese, or in my school, if you're a principal, or in my classroom, if you're a teacher, or my school board, if you're the head of the school board, in this parish, everyone's welcome. Everyone who is respectful of the Catholic faith. If you come here with ideologies that contradict the teaching of the church, the moral teaching of the church, and you're planning on pushing these ideologies you're not welcome here. You need to leave. That's the kind of language we should have heard years ago. It's like if someone came around here, you parents, someone came around to the youth group and started saying, hey, there's nothing wrong with sex before marriage. I think sex before marriage is healthy. It's good. We should have sex before marriage. How would you feel about that? Someone coming around telling that to your young people. You'd be mad at the pastor. You'd say, hey, you deal with that. We don't send our kids to a Catholic church, to a youth group, to be taught things contrary to the teaching of the Catholic church. Or someone would come around saying, well, polygamy is great. We need to rediscover the joys of polygamy. How would you feel about that? A shepherd, a leader who has any backbone would tell those people who are pushing these ideologies, you get out of here. You're not welcome here. This is the Catholic Church. Only people who respect us are welcome here. Good-willed people. People who come around wanting to push ideologies that contradict the Catholic faith. We should have told them long ago. The teaching of the Catholic Church is clear. It's found in scripture, it's found in our tradition, and it's found in the natural law. 
people who want to change the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ and push that on others, they're not welcome. We should have done this in our seminaries. Pope Benedict wrote about this himself in 2019, not too long ago. He talked about cliques in the seminaries, people who did not subscribe to the church teaching on human sexuality. Look at the mess that's created. And so, brothers and sisters, now is not the time for us to be lukewarm. It's not time for us to drown ourselves in the pleasures and the cares of the world. It's time for us to follow Jesus, to speak the truth, even if it means being martyred. We will have to give an account for our words and actions during this time. And this is a time when the church is under attack and our young people are being confused. Who is going to do something about this? I will. Might get me fired. Might get my head chopped off. Might get me killed. Good. I want to spend eternity in heaven. I'm going to follow John the Baptist. I'm going to follow our Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm going to follow the martyrs. Because I'm not here to please man. I'm here to please God. And I want to see people get to heaven. I want to see our young people get to heaven. And so many of them, they're too confused. They don't have a clue because people aren't standing up and speaking the truth.